standing at our bar. It's kind of nice. Yes. Okay. So Perfect height. Today, really? today, we're, you know what? We've been working really hard. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, you're probably going to hear construction, construction in the background. <laughs> We're still working on finishing out the distillery. Yeah. But one thing that I think we desperately need is a little bit, a little bit of respite, some indulgence. Yeah. Some indulgence. And when you're in the South, there's one surefire way to indulge. Pie. Her name was Cherry Pie. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So uh, I've, I've never done whiskey and pie pairing. I know. I think I need to get a third glass. So I brought us a Buffalo Trace, just a classic bourbon. Sure. I brought us the Old Overholt, just budget rye. We'll see if there's a good pairing. Just for stand. And I brought us, because the other night I had a dinner, and no matter what I ate, yeah. Talisker went with it. Really? And it changed. It kept changing. Huh. Yeah. We're starting with these whiskeys, and then we're starting with a few classic pies. All right. We have uh, Cherry Pie, because Cherry Pie. Apple pie. Buffalo. And uh, pecan pie. Well, because pecan pie is the Did only you say pecan pie? Pecan pie. Really? Pecan. It's pecan. Be classy. For once in your life, be classy. <laughs> What's your first pairing? What's uh, your first? Well, okay, so obviously you start with apple because that's sort of like apple pie. That's it's an Americ it's as American as apple pie. Mm hmm So we went to quintessential small town diner. Yeah, Texas. we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, with the popcorn ceiling and the whole bit. Yeah. Uh, where if you didn't get it fried, then you're gonna get cheese on it. That's right. So I prefer more crust, but I'm gonna go for the filling on this round. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's apple pie. You notice they put the Texas Star in there? They really did. That is, is classic apple pie. Yeah. So let me go to the screw some pairing here. I'm gonna get a big old bite, huge freaking bite of the apple pies. Wow, that is a huge freaking bite. Mm. The bourbon is interesting. I'm gonna move forward. Actually, I really like it. Hey, give me that right back. So what are you typically looking for in a good whiskey pairing? Because of course, taste is subjective, but whenever people are pairing intentionally at a professional level, what, oh. are, they, what are they usually looking for? Well, as Anthony Dina says, Anthony Dina, our guy, uh, chef who teaches on this stuff, so you can either try to uh, pick a flavor that's in there mm -hmm. and accent it with the whiskey, like if there's some salt or an apple, it brings up more apple in the bourbon, sure. or, right? Uh, you could uh, contrast it by going, this is sweet, let's add smoky, right. which is much harder, or you can complement it. These things are totally their own, yeah. but together they make a nice combo, Okay. right? Like peanut butter and jelly so you or something. typically lean towards, I really like, Contrast. I lean like towards complimenting. Compliment. I tend to try to find something where they're both unique, but together they create a new interesting thing. Because the rye with the apple finish and the apple pie, I think it, it I don't know if that's an accent or a compliment, but that's pretty nice for me. I haven't, I haven't done the scotch yet. Let's do the scotch. The scotch is a total contrast, and, and both of them lose something in the battle. I'm gonna come back to the bourbon as being my pervert, preferred, yeah. um, because there's a little bit of barrel char, but this really sweet corn the bourbon was good. is working with the sugar of the apples for me. The bourbon was And it's bringing out the apple note in both of them. I decided on a compliment with apple pie and bourbon. Apple pie, actually, damn it, hold on. That's yeah. Buffalo Trace. Yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah. All right, so Buffalo Trace. The bourbon wins, and it's uh, a total compliment. Bourbon and apple pie. All right, on to the yeah, pe so, pecan pie is a very much a Texas thing. That was really good. Oh, oh that's good pie. Yeah, that's good pie. Oh my God, that bourbon with pecan pie. Yeah? Holy cow. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I want to move on. <laughs> oh, we I'm, may, we may I'm need gonna. To we may need to circle back. Wow. That was quite nice. So, you do the right, I'll do the smoke. Still a bourbon. So this is a true contrast, the Talisker and the pie. And it's interesting, mm -hmm. but it's not like, oh yeah. Yeah, this actually is drier tasting and earthier tasting after the pie. Yeah. Whereas the bourbon, it just turned into a bourbon pecan pie. The magic melody. Holy cow, that's good. The magic melody. Uh, the bourbon takes a pecan pie. Now you don't get much sweeter than cherry pie. Okay, we're about to find out if that's true or not. Do we end with the bourbon this time since we keep... I'm gonna go straight to Talisker. Mm. Oh, so sweet. That candied cherry jelly. Mm-hmm. Going bourbon. Oh, whoa! Oh, no, no, no. That just ruined everything about the pie and the Talisker all at once. So, I did the bourbon and I wasn't disappointed. Mm -hmm. 
This so bourbon, what bourbon we've is, decided is bourbon and pie it's is made for pie. It's American. It's a, it now should be said it's an American as bourbon and pie. I'm going rye. You got the rye. We'll try that. It ruins both. Be prepared for it. We get like a sour finish off of the talisker. So every time the rye gets more um, funky and less nice and smooth and sweet and pretty, mm -hmm. the bourbon, the wood from the new oak stands out. And so we have discovered. And the, the best one was no question, head and shoulders, pecan pie and bourbon. The I'm doing that again just because. So for those people not from the south who haven't had a pecan pie, the caramelized pecans on top of here, you can see it right here. Caramelized pecans on top of the, oh my god, it's so good. The filling there, you got it's super nutty, super sweet, dude. Super good. That's so good. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we need to because as we often do, we try to find uh, inventive ways uh -huh. to fully flesh out and experience whiskeys and pairings and the thing with pie because you're not really a sweet guy. Yeah. So if left to your own devices, you will never reach. Uh, pie whiskey nirvana. <laughs> so what okay. we're gonna do is remove uh, your ability to choose, and we're going to force you to fully, fully experience this glorious pairing. <laughs> no, really, you gotta get down in there. No. Come on. No, you're not down in the pot. What if I panic? You, well, I can't breathe. Well, then you gotta figure that out. Hey, this is cold. <laughs> Damn it. Cut the shit out. <laughs> down in the pie, Daniel. I'm down in the pie. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Let me uh, help you. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> uh, what's the pairing? You're you, oh, you broke the cord. We're gonna have to go to the subpar pairing. Welcome to my barber shop. Totally gotta twist my tips. <laughs> Dude, I have not used these for two years. These, well, these, are, these are the actual. These are the actual ingredients. This is vintage. And I have never done it for somebody else's. But I'll walk you through the steps. We're gonna shave your head. Right. We're gonna. We're gonna. Oh. Yeah. And then. And then you're gonna get the full treat. You're gonna the get full. by these hands. The first time ever, ever, <laughs> this has happened. So if you can't tell, and the whiskey tribe, we had Patreon and one of the rewards if we actually stepped up in a meaningful way, which we did. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we have a series of haircuts. And one of them was the Brushwood Special, yeah. which I'll put on the screen right now. Yeah. And it shall be administered by none other than the Brushwood. For the first time. You want to scoot? <gasps> Do I get to scoot? You want to scoot? Yeah, you want to hold my garbage? Do I need to give you scoot lessons? Yeah, I don't know. I don't it's, know, man. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's like. I don't know if you can handle the scoot. It's like fire eating. Once you've done it, you never ever forget. Yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> you just ripped the way you did. <laughs> you don't know how to scoot at all. I'm fine. I should have never given up my scoot. <laughs> Always push the Z button. All right, you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Are you ready? This is this is a magical moment. No, 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 no. Okay, this is happening. I, I mean, uh, look, uh, I hold this in the highest regard. I want you to know that I am very aware of the level of badassness that's happening right now. Hey, hold on, let me, here, let me do a quick uh, tweet here. Hold on. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man, you look gorgeous. <laughs> I know everybody. Everybody's day. gonna scream for me to periscope this. <laughs> Should I periscope this? You can do whatever you want. Really? Yeah. Okay, so we gotta start. So there's a process to the <laughs> special. Start hitting about 200 people. This is amazing. <laughs> I have kind of a square face, so I would start right here. Right. So, so here, let me see what this. Hey, you are pale. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, it's so much wider. <laughs> yeah, you know what's even better? Hmm. My in-laws are in town. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look like a mental patient. Look at this. It's, it, you do look like you got a lobotomy. Here, yeah. let me just. Uh, yeah. Is that good? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go high on this. I just forgot I'm supposed to be shooting our episode right yeah. now. <laughs> and I said, you know what? I just, just realized we're making small talk while I do your hair. <laughs> you are a real stylist. <laughs> uh, okay, do you have water? Like, actually. <laughs> Hold on, get some Hold soap on in there. I gotta shoot an episode. Okay, man. all right. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're pranking me? I'm not, I'm not. Get all the way down in there. Look at me, so. There you go. No, look, we're gonna do it right. It's gotta look good. <laughs> right. You good? You got it? <laughs> yeah, you got it. This is like a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, here I am in a fancy salon. You know what, when I was a young boy, I often had the dream of one day I would have a middling YouTube celebrity <laughs> <laughs> screw my hair up. <laughs> so what you want is it all to kind of puff out. Yeah. I guess I could start cutting off the top. God, we're, we're children playing dress up. <laughs> like, oh look. <laughs> You're still all damp. All right, here we go. Relaxing massage, relaxing oh, massage. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, you took your wedding ring off. That's this right. Is, this is getting that's incident. That's because I'm, I'm ashamed to have my wife be a part of this in any way. <laughs> so you gotta, normally this towel dries, but. So like at a certain point, I think you're not actually trying to style, you're just trying to no, rub my it's, head. It's, well, yes. <laughs> Look, you've been rubbing my head for 10 minutes. You're not paying me. I gotta get something out of this. Okay, ready. Holy shit. This pomade, now, it's been a while. I think it'll, it, it, to be honest, it might even work better. You might already feel more stylish. <laughs> uh, the important one is beeswax. Okay. This is. Uh, oh, I got you. That just kind of gives it some lift and lift and body. <laughs> right. Look the at things it. Things that we're saying. Just two bros. <laughs> bros. <laughs> we get it really up the tip twisting. <laughs> in the beginning, there was one. There you go. Dumbling down this on guy, the tips. This guy you fuse, and in fact, you're gonna steal some of this over here. And we're like, mm -hmm. we'll do a bigger one over here. Weirdly, the smell is strangely nostalgic. I wouldn't have expected that. You cranked it to 11 on the douche meter. <sighs> douche came to me. I didn't go to the douche. All right. It was not a douchey look until other Jersey people Shore. started douching yeah, it. Right. Yeah. It is kind of hypnotic. Zen in the art of twisting them tips. You're getting close. I just realized, I think part of the reason that I'm trying so hard to get this right mm -hmm. is I think in my heart, I know this is the very last time. Ridiculously spiky. It is very spiky. Right. You also got some clumps of product, which which I always make sure to smooth out. You need to constantly be fidgeting with it. It's really? the only way. I'm probably not going to be as serious about maintaining these tips what? as you were. Uh, so unless you want me to dial you up in the middle of the night, say Brushwood. I need get some, on over here. I need some maintenance twisting. I, I need some twisting. <laughs> I was like, man, can't your girl give the twist? You're like, she doesn't twist it. She right. doesn't do it right. She doesn't do it like you she do it. <laughs> get over here, brush one. Jeez, it's like looking into a mirror. Rage against the thick tip. He says after looking into a mirror. That's pretty damn good. I think we're gonna call it. Always spiky, never curly. Nah, I'm not OCD. You're OCD. Yeah, I'm the one. Dude, I think you're in the home stretch. I think I think you have a genuine. Uh, brushwood 2008 the brushwood, special. brushwood special. You know what? Yeah. I feel like doing something right now. What? Right Magic. Now. That is the full on Brushwood special. All right guys, wrapping up the episode. A couple of notable things this week. One, we're launching the uh, Whiskey Tribe subreddit for the first time. Yeah. Are you gonna join it? Yeah, are you kidding me? Yes. Here's what you gotta understand about the Whiskey Tribe subreddit. Uh, it is for all of the homeless, magnificent bastards who, for whatever reason, don't really do the Facebooks. So there's hundreds and hundreds of MBs who have been really wanting a place to land. Uh, if you're already in the Facebook community, the subreddit really isn't gonna offer anything that you don't already have. Also a Twitter, which is the Whiskey Tribe. You're tweeting. Well, let's see. <laughs> Don't get excited. <laughs> no, no. No, it, we, we need we need a, a centralized place to have like the official updates and posts and announcements and stuff. So we're just doing a Twitter. Sure. And here's a I I, I I tweeted for the very first time uh, five minutes ago. Yes. Like the Brushwood special we just did up there. Yeah. Somehow there were already 620 people that were following 
Of there course is, there is. There is never a tweet. They're magnificent bastards. They're magnificent what would you bastards. expect? Uh, and Daniel uh, is out of town, so we snuck into his office and we're gonna move a bunch of whiskey. Yeah, if only there's whiskey here. <clears throat> Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with, with us. I got it. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> New <laughs> plug! You have no shame. What the hell's wrong with you? You don't plug during the toast. I, I, I,